Hello there. In this video, we're going to look at how you can compare changes in dev mode. So dev mode is currently a new feature for 2023 and dev mode is currently in beta, as it says at the top of this article. Um, you know, they're caveating that you may experience bugs or performance issues, but that's just part of the beta release. So who can use this feature? So it's supported on any team or any plan. I'm sure that's probably going to change in the future and they're going to make it a feature that you have to pay for. But when something is in beta, you want to get lots and lots of people using it so you can learn lots and lots about how it's being used and how you can improve it. Let's just read a couple of things here. So dev mode allows you to see when a frame was last edited and compare the changes made at different points in its version history. Since the handoff from design to development sometimes requires multiple iterations, version history makes it easier for you to track down design changes and accurately reflect updates in production code. What does this mean? In Figma, when you toggle dev mode on, you can compare the changes. If a frame has been updated since you last viewed it, you can compare its version history. So you select the top level frame. In the top right hand corner of the inspect panel in dev mode, you click on compare changes and you have a version history timeline. You have a side by side view where you can compare things. You can overlay the changes and you can view edited layers as well and you can also compare properties. This is a fairly short article. Uh, I'd encourage you to have a quick look at it because it gives you some of the information here and some screenshots but the best way to learn is to actually do it. So jumping into a design file I've got two buttons here and if I go into dev mode here so we've got the toggle up here I'm going to press on that and I'm going to click on my buttons frame and here as you can see it says compare changes I'm going to click on compare changes so as you can see here on the side we've got a history of the changes so I'm on the first one here frame is created I'm going to click on the next one that's when the button was updated uh, we can actually see I've removed this button uh, and these two on the right which are the current version uh, are the ones that have been added so let's go up the history a little bit more so updates to the buttons you can see if we scroll down the layers let's go here to the button text so you can see in comparison from the old version to the new version uh, the size of the text has definitely changed so it was 14 in the new version it's now 18. if we want to do a, a side by side comparison this is what we get if you want to do an overlay, click on overlay and you can use the opacity toggle and you can compare the old with the new and as a developer and as a designer it's great to see what the button has evolved from and what it now is and the changes that have been made. So let's go back to side by side, let's go to button changes, again there looks to be some additional changes you can dive in here and see what's changed again the text has changed some vector positioning has changed and looking at the color fill it's giving us the previous okay so you can click on it as well and copy it to your clipboard so you've got the old color and the new color as well which is super useful and if we click here on button color updates we can go through and see if there are any changes here and I think the main change here is the button text has changed as you can see from 14 to 18 if I do another overlay and I drag that toggle out you can see the transformation from the old version to the new we go back to side by side so as a designer or developer this is a really powerful tool because if you want to go back in the history and track the different changes you can and you can see how things have evolved over time there we go that's compare changes in dev mode it's here just on the top right hand side once you've got the frame selected so I'd encourage you to go into Figma if you have any existing components great if not create some components make some changes and do a comparison to see how Figma is organizing these changes so that's it for this quick video like and subscribe Add some comments and I will see you in the next video.